Spring 98, Thomas went to Malta on a language trip. When he went for a swim with a few colleagues, he was thrown off his feet by a wave and pressed towards a sandbank, which broke his fifth cervical vertebra. Since then, he's paralyzed from his shoulders downwards. In a research project of the University of Technology Graz, a brain-computer interface was developed during the last eight years. Such an interconnection between the brain and the computer analyzes human brain waves and uses the signals to control the device by thought. For that, many electrodes are assembled at the scalp to register the EEG. The acquired EEG data are transformed with a special computer program into a horizontal movement of the cursor on the computer screen. Thomas' task is to move the cursor in the direction of the arrow just by thought. During the control of the cursor to the right or left respectively, specific brain regions are activated and analyzed with pattern recognition methods. To achieve reliable control of the system, Thomas underwent a training of four months at home. For a practical application, just a few EEG electrodes are required, which are mounted over the corresponding brain regions. The electrodes are connected to a portable EEG amplifier and a special computer system mounted to the back of the wheelchair. To stabilize Thomas' left hand and to restore the hand's grasp function, an electrically driven hand orthosis was designed. The goal of the project is to restore the left hand's grasp function with the help of an orthosis. With the imagination of a right hand movement, the orthosis opens and the imagination of a foot movement closes it again. This, is this opening and closing can be performed with an accuracy above 90%. However, it took Thomas several months to achieve such high perfection. While Thomas imagined those movements, EG data were taken and analyzed to develop the brain-computer communication system. <laughs> Thank you.